I'm Basic Becca, and you're listening to The Three Count Podcast. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another great edition of Returning to the Ring, presented by the Three Count Podcast. I am your host, Lou, the franchise, and I have a roster with me. First on the list is, you know him as the Three Count Podcast host of the debate show. His name is Chaz. The Don. Okay, I thought, wait a minute, you got to do that again, because I thought you were going to say my last name, and I was waiting, and then you just had like this real dramatic pause, then you put the Don, anyway, it's your boy, your nephew, your cousin, it's the Don Chaz Evans here on Returning to the Ring, we got basic Becca, I'm so basic excited, and I'm just as basic as she is, because I'm excited. (laughs) All right, and then the next person we have, he has been my best friend for 20 years, he has been my partner in crime since 1997. You guys know him as Clifford the Red Dog Miller. Hey, check it out. It's an Air Force veteran, intel specialist, the one they call Red Dog, and your favorite mercenary. And we have a special guest on the show today. She stands at probably four foot nine, maybe four foot ten. She is the mascot of the Three Count podcast. She is Clifford's daughter. Kira. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I was like, I was like, all right. And we have a guest on the show. Uh, Chaz Edit. We are basic excited. Welcome to Basic Becca. Hello. Join the Scrunchy Squad, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Wait. wait. <laughs> <laughs> I got uh, yeah. Now she's she's about to join the country squad right now. <laughs> she's oh <big>. yes. <laughs> all right. So basic. All right, Becca. So, uh, what have you been up to since the last time you were on a three count podcast? When was that? It was like over the summer, right? Yeah. 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 You were like one of my very first interviews, so it's my honor to have you back on. Um, let's see. So I think season two of The Road came out since then on Limitless. Um, And I was on the Vacation Land Cup with Davian in December. Um, I debuted at Northeast Wrestling um, versus Little Mean Kathleen. And um, I also returned to Chaotic for um, Chaotic Reloaded. I had a match with Ava Everett and Davy N. And I am now the number one contender for the chaotic women's title. So that's what's going on right now. <laughs> awesome. All right. So my next question for you, uh, what do you want to accomplish in 2021? Um, I really want to get out of New England a little bit. Um, there's like a lot of really talented women around the U.S. that I really want to wrestle that aren't in New England, <laughs> which is hard because we're still in a pandemic. But, you know, I'm going to make it happen. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, my last question before I tag one of these guys in. Uh, What was your favorite memory through the pandemic in all of 2020? Um, I think my favorite memory was from season two of The Road. Um, Just one of the tapings. It was um, Anthony Green's last indie matches before he went to um florida to wwe and um it was just so exciting like i knew he was going it was like bittersweet but it was just him going to wwe is like such a big win for i think all every student at like um at new england pro wrestling academy and just like new england in general 
and it was just cool to like be there for his last um indie shows and yeah gotcha awesome so i'm gonna tag in kira see if she has any questions for you <laughs> she's, gotta pull up, she's gotta pull up the questions <laughs> what is your favorite cartoon oh phineas and fur yes oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, i have like this real like like the deep desire of phineas and ferb <laughs> Sorry for my outbursts. Go ahead, Kira. <laughs> what is your favorite food? It's a good though. It's my favorite food. Um, um, I I feel like, like maybe like pancakes or like muffins, some kind of like breakfast, like sweet breakfast food. I like waffles too, so. One, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> donuts. I like donuts. Donuts. Right. If I could give you a donut, I would give it through the camera, but. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. If you could be one animal, what would it be? Um, I would definitely want, I think I would really want to either be able to fly or swim underwater, like breathe underwater. So either like, maybe like a dolphin cause then I could like fly through the air and then like also breathe under, like, you know, swim under the water. So, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's weird. Why is that weird? Hmm? That she, she wants to be a dolphin, why is that weird? Cause mommy's a dolphin trainer. Yeah, that's definitely what it is. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's definitely, that's true. That's definitely true. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah, small That's world. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so we have a question from one of our fans that says, What got you into wrestling? Um, I feel like I answer this on like every podcast. <laughs> uh, I think just, um, yeah, I was like bored one summer and like didn't have anything to do and was just like watching TV with um my sister's fiance <laughs> we were watching wrestling and i just uh i just like got really into like the women's wrestling that was on like i think i just started with like raw and smackdown and then like got really in into nxt after that um but yeah it was definitely like the women um i think like sasha and bailey were like feuding really intensely when I first started watching like I vaguely remember that and I think I was like really into their beef and their like friendship and everything so I think that's storyline yep yep I remember NXT uh, the war in New York that was awesome so I guess for me my first question is going to be like obviously we've seen you like just kind of make your way through limitless wrestling and then you know you have to come up like you said and, and all your all your roads I'm just very curious like has there been like a standout moment that you have had since we last had you on the show I think it was June of last year yeah um I think um being on the vacation land cup um was a really big moment for me um, like limitless shows were, have like always been a goal of mine to get on. Um, they're great shows and it was awesome to be on such a stacked card with so much talent. I don't think I've like been, um, in a locker room with like that much talent before. Um, uh, it was awesome. And to have a match with Davian, um, was just like, uh, it was just the best. It, yeah. <laughs> it was a big moment for me I think that's the the best like the most um aggressive match that I've had to date and that I think kind of pushed me um that's awesome though I'm, I'm curious though because you know you, you said you wanted to get out of New England you want you want to wrestle like around is there a name in particular like that you would like to see 
like I don't know in the mid-Atlantic or maybe even just I guess anywhere like where what's your what's your top name that you want to grab in 2021 oh man there's uh I really want to wrestle Masha Slamovich um yeah probably yeah probably my number one <laughs> but there's really there's really so much uh, like I don't know if you've seen um like Thunder Rosa's promotion Mission Pro um their card is just stacked with so much female talent and yeah any of them would just I would just love to wrestle all of them this year <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say yes I'm very much a huge fan of Mission Pro as well as um goddesses of war just like in new jersey for titan like that those are like two big promotions and actually we've had uh amber rodriguez recently on our show and uh she you know she's with mission pro as well and so is her uh her tag partner danny b who's also going to be getting interviewed here soon with us um yeah i just i'm, I'm curious because i'd love to see like you and like gabby ortiz like square up like i think <laughs> that just would be a fun matchup to see that would, that would be, be awesome yeah, yeah. We know a place where we can make it happen. Richie, Casino, make it happen. We know you're going to do that. C3W, let's go. All right, so my last uh, question before I hand it over to Chaz. So last time we said that your favorite lift was the deadlift. I'm very curious. Have you hit a new PR yet? So, okay. I, okay, so the pandemic happened, right? Yeah. And I like kind of wasn't lifting. And then and gyms kind of reopened and I came back and I actually switched from lifting conventional deadlift to sumo deadlift, um, which I'd never lifted sumo before. And I was kind of like, you know what, like I'm already going to be starting at a way lower weight than I was lifting before. Like I might as well, you know, challenge my muscles in a different way and, you know, just get stronger um learn a new lift so i switched to sumo and i'm not quite where i was before with conventional yet <laughs> because it turns out that my hips are very weak because i you know didn't lift sumo for you know the year and a half that i lifted um but it's exciting because every time I like add weight to my sumo deadlift, I'm hitting a PR for sumo. So <laughs> basically no, that, every time I go in. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome though. I just like, so for even for me, like, cause like the gyms were all closed over here. And like, I just recently started to get back into the gym, like almost like three weeks ago. So it's, it's like, yeah, now I'm like, I knew really? what I was. Yeah. 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 <laughs> fun, fun fact for those who didn't know. Um, but you going to gym last week, or at least last week. Was the first week. Hey, I said I started back up three weeks ago. Chill out. Oh, oh, I get, I okay, I get that. Yeah, now. yeah. So now, yeah, I I understand where you're at too. Like, I was one of those that like, I was maxing out like, and I was doing really well, and now I get back in, I'm just like, oh god, I'm so struggling. This is terrible news. <laughs> yeah. But I'll but give like, it up to Chaz. It's more encouraging to like start something new. I feel like than try to like get back to where I was before it's just like oh so I'm not as strong as I was before great <laughs> all right just so just a correction uh I had to go, go back in my memory and s to remember when we actually did your interview for now entering is actually like two weeks before my wedding so it would have been late June late July early August really yeah because Cliff Cliff ruined my game he's like this guy's gonna get married in a couple weeks I was like don't ruin my game <laughs> I love my wife. <laughs> all right. I'm packing Chaz in. All right. All right. Oh, man. So, uh, well, Becca, how have you been throughout the whole pandemic as far as like, you know, just like being home and not really traveling a lot? Like, how's that like been for you? Um, I lost my mind the first couple months. And then. I was able to start working out and training again, like in a gym and like wrestling school. Um, and then I slowly returned to some kind of sanity, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been a lot better. And like when, 
you know, taping started happening again, shows coming back um, definitely helped. But yeah, it was definitely rough. I like made a lot of like weird deranged YouTube videos um, that I've since deleted. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, (laughs) oh man. That's funny. So, uh, I got my next question is, um, what are some do's and don'ts when going to like a new promotion? Um, you know, now and in the ring, we kind of call the show a wrestling show for wrestlers about wrestling. So mm-hmm. I guess, uh, usually I guess the, the advice portion of the show, um, I guess would be, what is some do's and don'ts when going to a new promotion? Hmm. That's a good question. Um, I would say do listen to what the promoter wants from your match and do ask what they want. Um, Normally I would say like shake everyone's hand and like be nice, but now it's like. (laughs) Right. COVID. (laughs) Yeah. Elbow bump. I don't know. The funny thing you mentioned, I have a funny story. So I uh, recently, I did a, a, a camp AFCW up in Jersey and so you know like I said I'm, I'm fresh in business I'm you know I know the handshake and everything so now the thing is they do is elbow bumps and I was just like you know I was doing the fist bump type of thing and this one guy I don't remember who it was I wish I knew his name oh but he came up to me and I was getting for a fist bump and he literally put his elbow I was like yeah how you doing I'm such and such I'm like and I like fist bumped his elbow because I just didn't know I wasn't ready for it and then he's like like yeah i'm chaz evans and he's like yeah thanks for punching my elbow (laughs) but it's funny you mentioned it with the handshake thing like yeah that's kind of weird now (laughs) it's awkward i like feel really bad but like sometimes people will still shake my hand and i just have to like awkwardly like pull out hand sanitizer and like sanitize my hands like right after shaking their hand which makes me feel like such a jerk but i'm just like this no, is a I'm, pandemic. I'm right there with you. I have like I have the little travel size hand sanitizer with me in my uh it's always where I have my hoodie. I have it in that pocket because there are some people that you know they just because it's so accustomed to it, just the yeah. shape of hand. So when someone does, I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Meet you, walks away. Oh, COVID. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like try to do it so they can't see, but it's like right, right. You just gotta go like this. Yeah. Squirt, squirt. You shake your hand too. Squirt, squirt. Yeah. <laughs> but um, um, I'm trying to think of others. Um, yeah, like do be nice to everyone. Um, do your makeup before because you never know what the locker room is gonna be like. For yeah, for anyone who does their makeup. <laughs> I've like gone to shows before and like got like been like okay time to get ready and there's like no mirrors no lighting like terrible and I'm just like ah well (laughs) not doing that again (laughs) what's some don'ts what are some don'ts Mm, don't be late um Hmm. This is this is good. <laughs> don't handshake. Yes. <laughs> don't yeah. Don't handshake. <laughs> <laughs> don't. Not anymore. <laughs> um. Hmm. Wow. You gotta keep I have this. No idea. <laughs> you gotta keep this question, Anthony. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. That's definitely the top top yeah, question. Man. Keep this question, and Cliff. Use this question from now into the ring. Something or guess. All <laughs> interview shows, you gotta ask this. What are the do's and don'ts? That's a good one. All right, that's cool. So, um, my next question is, uh, what are some wrestlers to look out for in 2021, in your opinion? Um. Well, first of all, I'll just say Davian was just on AW Dark, so watch, watch out for her, cause yeah, she is a she's a star. She should be on TV. 
and I really she should be on TV in 2021. So Davy Ann, um, I think in New England, maybe I'm biased because I train with them, but um, um, Armani Chaos and Paris Van Dale both like train really hard and work really hard, and I think it, like really shows because they're yeah they're awesome. I love training with them and learning from them. Um, and I think they're going to do a lot of awesome stuff in 2021. So follow them on social media, keep an eye out for them. They've been on the road and I'm sure, and chaotic reloaded. Um, so I'm sure you'll see them lots of other places. All right. So I'm going to swing it on back to the host of returning to the ring. There you go. Wait, catch the pass, catch the pass. I got it. Here we go. End zone, end zone pass. Oh, oh. oh I'm a, your your ankle broke like that. Oh, you are disrespectful. I, no I love you guys. Anyway, so. I, no, no, I'm never coming back to help you with your show ever again. Yes, you are. Because that was wrong. <laughs> All right, so the next part of the show is a game that we play. Uh, Mary Kill, but in wrestling, it's tap or submit, pin, and DQ. And you have to tell us how you DQ them. Get or you lose by DQ, but you gotta tell us how you lose. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna name off three wrestlers. You're gonna tell us about it. The first three are gonna be Serena Deeb, Mickey James, and Bailey. So I have to pin, submit, and DQ. Yeah. And pick one for each thing. Yes. Hmm. Ooh, this is fun. So you said Serena D. Bailey, who was it? Mickey James. Mickey James. Man. <laughs> I, I'm going to say DQ Bailey because I want to, like, you know. I love her. I just, <laughs> <laughs> I just so like. How, so, how are you DQ? How, how are you getting DQ'd? I think me and her are having, like, um oh man this is such a good question i think definitely like strangle with the scrunchie you know yeah. i just reach i reach a breaking point and <laughs> bailey i'm sorry but <laughs> it had to happen all right so who are you, who are you pinning and who are you submitting uh i guess i'm sub i would say submitting oh I'm gonna say submitting Serena D. Um, and pinning Mickey James. Awesome. All right. So the next group we have for you, uh, Naomi, Sasha Banks, and Thunder Rosa. Ooh. These are so good. Um I think I'm I'm pinning Naomi. Um, oof, man, this is hard. <sighs> Submitting Sasha, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like she would get me with the bank statement, but you know, good for me, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, DQ Thunder Rosa. Um, man, how would I? I don't. Maybe I. Yeah, I hit her with my water bottle. Yes, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and the last group I have for you: Paige, AJ Lee, and Becky Lynch. man best group like that you've gotten like in of all the shows we've done this is the best group <laughs> of like wrestlers you have picked anthony so this is hard man this is so good um i'm gonna say that shoot Pin, I'm going to say pin AJ Lee. Um, 
just just because like with the size difference like that's I feel like that's a situation where I'd like actually maybe be larger than her um just doesn't usually happen to me um and I feel that on a deep emotional level <laughs> <laughs> wait sorry so it was Paige AJ Lee and it was I'm sorry Becky Lynch oh Becky Lynch uh submitting Paige and DQ Becky Lynch yeah all right, how um, are you doing that? Oh, jeez. I think... What is the... Oh, man. You know what? She's going through a table. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Get the tables! <laughs> She's I a new mom, that. but guess what? Through the table you go! <laughs> I like it. All right. So it doesn't look like we have many questions in the chat. Uh, can you tell our listeners and viewers where they can find you? Yeah. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at not basic Becca on Instagram at it's baby karate. Um, and you can watch me on limitless wrestling's the road every Wednesday at seven and chaotic reloaded on um chaotic's twitch on at 8 p.m on thursdays awesome yeah. all right so just to just to clarify too you guys can find all that stuff on iwtv so in case you guys were trying to figure out where limitless is going to be at go find uh, a go download iwtv i think they have like a free promotion right now where you can watch it, but nine ninety nine, you get to watch all the independent wrestling television that you want. Hence the name IWTV. All There's right. so much stuff. So much. IWTV right. has so much content. You can actually watch awesome. Chaz and I do our debut as announcers for C3W on there. <laughs> yeah, with my terrible internet connection, <laughs> <laughs> couldn't see anything. It was so frozen. I'm just like, I hear Cliff clearly. So I'm just like, all right, whatever Cliff is saying, that's what's going on. The video was terrible. So yeah, yeah, go watch my terrible commentary and debut. <laughs> yeah, I heard it. All right, so for the Red Dog, for Chaz Adon, uh, for the mascot Kiki, where did she go? Out. I am the host of this show, Lou the Franchise, and you guys just got watched by Basic Becca. <laughs> Awesome. Thanks for having me. <laughs> oh, there she is. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> See you guys. All right. And... What's going on, Three Count Nation? I'm Clifford Red Dog Miller with the catchphrase. Well, what I really want to do right now, go to twitter.com, right? Go over there, find us at the Three Count underscore pod. Give us a follow, give us a like, give us a comment. We want to talk to you guys. Go to IG at the Three Count Pod. Give us a like, give us a follow. Leave us a comment. We want to interact with you. Go to YouTube.com. Give us a subscribe. Turn the bell on. Turn on notifications. Leave a comment. We want to talk to you. Go to anger.fm forward slash the Three Count Podcast. And in there, you can leave us a message and we will talk to you. Basically, what I'm trying to tell you is that we want to talk to you. We want to have fun with you guys and we love listening to what you guys have to say. Also, one thing I need you to do for me, the Three Count Podcast also has merchandise. Oh! At prowrestlingtees.com forward slash the Three Count Pod. Please go buy our t-shirts. We love you guys and we hope you love us too. So, show us some support, please.